Hey there, welcome to the Compared to Who Show. I'm Heather Creekmore. I'm glad you're listening today to our series where we're praying every weekday through the month of January for our body image issues. I hope you've been following along and are praying with us every day. And I also hope you've invited a friend to pray along. A friend, if this series is stirring something in you and you're like, I I think I'm something's happening. I'm just not sure what it is. If you need extra help, reach out. I do have coaching spots available through the month of January. I'm also starting another coaching group at the end of January. If you want to be a part of that, you can drop me a message, Heather, at compared to who.me and find out more. You can go to the website, compared to who.me, look for the coaching tab and you'll find out all the info you need. Today, we are praying against lies. Yesterday, we prayed against fear. Today, we're talking about lies, all those things rattling around in your head that aren't true. That's where we're going today. I think you're going to get a lot out of it. Let's go. Welcome to Compare to Who, the podcast to help you make peace with your body so you can savor God's rest and feel his love. If you're tired of fighting body image the world's way, Compare to Who is the show for you. You've likely heard lots of talk about loving your body, but my goal is different. Striving to fall in love with stretch marks and cellulite is a little silly to me. Instead, I want to encourage you and remind you with the truth of scripture that you are seen, you are known, and you are loved no matter what your size or shape. Here, the pressure is off. If you're looking for real talk, biblical encouragement, and regular reminders that God loves you and you're not alone, you've come to the right place. I hope you enjoy today's show and hey, tell a friend about it. So today we're talking about praying for protection from lies. And I'll just tell you, in my coaching work, I've never worked with a client who didn't have some sort of soundtrack of lies that she listened to regularly in her brain. Now, sometimes those lies only came on when she was triggered, right? When she saw a certain like woman or a woman on television or a woman in an Instagram ad or Instagram you know, post of any kind. And sometimes those lies just ran through her brain all the time, right? Like sometimes it was every time I look in the mirror, every time I get dressed, I hear these lies. And the commonality, friend, is that we all have lies that we hear every day. And the challenge is that most of us have heard these lies for so long that they're so familiar to us that we don't even hear them as lies anymore. We've accepted them as the truth. So the lies may be something like you're lazy, you're ugly, you're not good enough, you should be ashamed of yourself, you're not a success. You're not worthy of love. No one will ever love you, right? The lies are pretty mean. And tomorrow we're going to talk more about shame. But today we're going to just focus in on those lies. What are the actual messages that you are hearing in your brain? Now, when I work with clients in coaching, this is one of the first assignments I give almost everyone. And it's an assignment I give in group coaching too. So if you're going to do coaching, this is where you're going to start. So if you've kind of wanted to do coaching, want to know how it worked, here's a little insight. (laughs) This is where we start. So your action step for today is I want you to start writing down those lies because until you see that they are lies, you can't confront them with the truth. You are still accepting them, still believing them. So example of this might be you skip exercising a day or a couple of days and you hear the lie that you're lazy, right? And you believe that lie because in your head you're like, well, I did skip my workout. So I guess that is lazy. Other people would never skip a workout. But friend, that's just not true, right? Sometimes life just gets in the way and you have to skip a workout. Or sometimes your body is just exhausted from other things in life. And skipping a workout is what is kindest for your physical being, right? And laziness has nothing to do with it in some cases, right? So anyway, what are your lies? Stop and think about them. What are you rattling around in your brain every day that doesn't line up with scripture and isn't really true? So John 8, 44 talks about how Satan is a liar. He is the father of lies. Friend, you don't have to listen to his lies. 
you don't have to gaslight yourself by convincing yourself that these things you've heard in your head are true. No, you don't have to believe the lies. And today we're going to pray for that specifically. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, God, you know what is rattling around in the soundtrack in my friend's head. God, you know what lies she's listening to every day. You know how the voice of the enemy may be shouting in her ear or subtly whispering to her things that are not true about her value, about her worth, about her character, about her identity in you. God, I pray today that you'll reveal the lies and I pray that you will protect her from those lies of the enemy that will keep her distracted and maybe running in a direction that's opposite from running towards you. God, I pray for her heart that you would shield it from the piercing lies of the enemy, the enemy who seeks to steal, kill, and destroy, the enemy who's not giving her good advice for her health, who's not on her side trying to help her by motivating her to do better or be better. No, no, no. God, help her to get it straight that the enemy seeks to kill her her, to rob her of joy and peace, and that you want to give her all those things. God, help her to see the lies and help her to find your truth to replace those lies as she continues to renew her mind daily in your word and through speaking to you in prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, you have your action step. Start that lies list. What are the lies you're hearing? And then keep praying for God to reveal those lies to you. You don't have to live by the lies of the enemy. You don't have to take advice from someone who wants to kill you. I mean, let's just, let's make it that severe, right? When I work with clients who are um, coming out of an eating disorder, a lot of them have personified their eating disorder as Ed. and, And I like to find this picture of Ed and he's like this, big guy with his beer belly and scruffy face and he's wearing like a white wife beater tank top kind of just like looks like a guy you just wouldn't want to have anything to do with and I encourage them consider that this is the guy that's lying to you you don't have to take his advice you don't have to listen to him he's not on your side what lies are you listening to do today I hope God will show them to you reveal them to you clearly and protect you from them as you move forward in this journey to freedom That's all for today. Thanks for listening. I hope something has helped you stop comparing and start living. Bye-bye.